this. Dr. Carson uh, pr uh, tweeted this yesterday. We the people have made 10,000 donations each day this week, raising 3.5 this week alone. Thank you, biased media. So I guess, Anna, is this ultimately good for him? It absolutely is. Look, when, I, when I first saw the story and you saw this, I immediately tweeted, you know, prediction. His numbers will go up and his fundraising will go up. It's the same that happened with Carly Fiorina last week. When, you know, yes, did, did Ben Carson embellish the story? It looks like it. But the media embellished his embellishment. And well, the, his, the Republican... Politico did. The Politico, Politico story did. said that he had admitted they, they, right. fabricating and he had never admitted fabricating. So, when the media fabricates over a fabrication, believe you me, <laughs> his base is going to focus on that, not on his fabrication. He all of a sudden becomes the hero. It's definitely true that the Republican, it's not just Republicans, the public doesn't like the media and the public uh, can rally around a candidate if they feel he or she is being unfairly picked on. Yeah, but I'm not sure this is unfair. And Ben Carson always likes to talk about the fact that Barack Obama didn't have to go through this vetting. Well, he did. You remember Barack Obama was accused of not even being American. He had to go get his long-form birth certificate from Hawaii. So this standard applies on both sides. It's not a double standard, but I agree with Anna. Look, the, the fact of the matter is that this is 2016. Some weird stuff is happening, and Ben Carson is the front runner. This is just going to embolden him. But, Kari, they all embellish. Every politician, whether it I've was... I've never Hillary... embellished anything. Well, you know, then, then maybe you will. <laughs> it, just, it just means he's finally behaving unfair? like a politician. Are these questions uh, unfair? I, I don't think they're unfair, but as you point out, Politico and Bakari, same thing. They overplayed their hand here, um, and it plays into this voting public's... Uh, dissatisfaction, not only with Washington, we think about Washington as the politicians, but it's also the media world here. And Ben Carson's base is angry with Washington. The Republicans in leadership in Washington are utterly disappointing, whether it's McConnell or McConnell, or now we'll see how Ryan does. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing a terrible job. And Republican voters are absolutely infuriated. You add to that this mainstream media overplay on Really, even for people who don't come out and say, I'm a Carson person, he's a very likable candidate. Sure. He's a very respectable individual. And to see this kind of a overplayed attack really uh, just fires them up more. And they're going to raise more money off it. Anna's right about that. Let's go inside what it's like to experience one of these. Because, Patty, you yeah. were on the Clinton campaign yeah. during her whole, I remember landing in Bosnia under gunfire thing, which was a horrible moment for her campaign because yep. video came out. Yep. And she either embellished or remembered it incorrectly. Or lied. Or lied. Mm -hmm. Well, I said embellished. embellished. Is that not the same thing? It is in, not the spoke. same thing. Okay. In any, well, in any, yeah, first of all, what happened? And second of all, how, what's it like to go through that? Is it, do you have to, like, well, let's get the videotape? Or is it immediately to the bunker, the media is attacking us, they're wrong, we're right? How, how do you go through well, it? Well, you know, exactly. So I watch this, and I'm like, what's with all the whining? You're running for president. You're running for the leader of the free world. Everyone is going to pour through what you've written, what you've said publicly. Um, and it's not just the media, you know, you're, you guys are doing your job, but it's also teams of opposition oh, research sure. from other campaigns who are pouring through everything. Expect it and learn to deal with it. Hillary went through it. And you don't um, automatically go into a bunker. Um, well, what a lot of campaigns do is do a self-vet, right? They do a vetting process on themselves. And they look for any holes. They, they're prepared for it. Uh, sometimes they put the story out before somebody else finds it to get it out there. Uh, so I just find Ben Carson uh, to be testy or to be unprepared. The f he, he's not a practice politician, but again, that's what people like. I, I thought you know, his response and his team's response was brilliant. They are, they, you know, his base wants to see him testy with the lane But it's going to continue. This is, this and is a gift, manna from heaven but for Ben Carson. He should have also expected this because his whole candidacy is built upon gifted hands. I mean, this it's man's right. legacy. Yeah, right. I mean, everybody, everybody has read Gifted Hands or watched the movie with C Cuba Gooding Jr. I mean, it's inspiring. When I travel around and speak, I tell kids, you know, to be a, a lawyer like Thurgood Marshall or, or be a, a scientist like George Washington Carver or doctor like Ben Carson. I mean, that's what I say because it was that inspirational. Now I can't tell if he's Rush Limbaugh or Tim Oh, Nugent. come on, McCarty. But Listen, regardless of that, his Ben Carson's life is still inspirational. Sure. This no, is no, a no, man no, who no, came no. out of, you but know... But poking holes in that. But, Ken, I, th there does become a meme. There does become a, per a, a, a question, a caricature, if you will. This person, you already see uh, memes on Twitter and political cartoons. Right. And, yes, they're from liberals. I get that. But unless you take care of the problem, then the caricature takes hold. No? That's right. You've got to fight through this week. 
you've got to handle it using the various techniques Patty just mentioned. Um, and, and the real question for them is, uh, are they going to learn from this? Uh, are they going to get back on their feet and steady the ship uh, from a campaign standpoint? Because this will not be the last one. I mean, yep. there, we're a long way out yet. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a lot more waves hit the boat. And uh, so are they going to get smoothly enough through that to still be viable when you get to Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, and, and Nevada, and beyond? But I, I bet you're right, though. I bet he goes up in the polls. If Politico had not overplayed their hand, if Politico had yeah. not exceeded well, with their narrative, right. I think it would have been a real problem. But the fact that they did gives him the escape valve he yep. needed. Yeah, I don't know why He's they gonna did. be it's, just it's such a mystery. They changed the headline and the lead and didn't even let anybody know. I mean, they just changed it. It was very irresponsible, and now he's going to, he and Armstrong Williams are doing yeah. a good job pushing back. Acknowledges fabrication is not what happened.